Um, Blanking out, that mean you're going to sleep? No, Rachel, no. no. It means okay. that the service is shvach. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I get a mazel tov. My son, before you either had a baby girl. Mazel tov. Very nice. Yep. He's in the bar. I'm Park. Are you Park? No, I'm not going to go to Borough Park. It's like chutz you know. <laughs> I hear, I hear that. <laughs> I'm gonna go there. I might as well stay for Purim already. You know, this is crazy. I hear. Uh, maybe my shvir, my uh-huh. my my machut is there. I don't know. Whatever. Yes, yeah, she is. Uh, nice. Okay, you should have a lot of nachos. Right. Okay, let's go. Yeah. So lema katanoi. We're about a little bit chaf gimel amid aleph. We're talking about uh, we are talking about the machloike. We're saying we're talking about whether if you have a simon and it gets it gets stepped on and it gets kicked around, are we afraid that that simon is no longer going to be in existence? So we got a machloikas rabbi and rabbi about it. The lemakatanoi. Let's say it's a machloikas tanoi. Reviu doimer. Called over sheyesh by shinui. Anything that has a shinui on it. Anything that has something different about it. So you have to be machus. Okay, Tzad, what does that mean? Matzah eagle, ubasoy chacheres. Let's say you find a um, a cake of dates, right? A figs, figs, dates, whatever. I don't even know the difference myself. But ubasoy chacheres, and there's earthenware inside it, so there's obviously something odd about it. Or kikar, kikar ubasoy chamos, or a loaf of bread and money in it. Michlal, so meaning so you see that you'd have to announce it because clearly there's something recognizable about it that a person is not going to give up on it, right? Michlal Tanakama Sovar Hare Lushalai. This must be that uh, the Tanakama holds it's his. I right? mean, because uh, it's a Machloikis, um, it's Rabbi Machloikis Rabbi Yudin Tanakama. So the Tanakama doesn't care about the simon. So now, what's this machloikus about? So it's a rua de kuli. I'm a simen, habami elav, havi simen. Everybody holds a simen that comes by itself. It's considered a simen. And we, um, and people do step on food. Yeah? Meaning, people, it's a question where right? we said yesterday that people don't step over bread because it's the you know, it's also to step over bread. Unfortunately, we don't have that much time to discuss it. But it's an Indian, and also the same thing about throwing out bread. Bread is considered chosher. So we're saying here that maybe the machlaikus is, it's a simon that came by itself, and pe- whether that's considered a simon. Um, meaning, it could be that, why is it not a simon that, why is it a simon that came by itself? That, because maybe somebody just walked by and put a piece of earthenware into somebody's figs, which I don't know exactly why somebody would do that, or, or puts uh, money into somebody's uh, challah. Right? So, but whatever it is, the Gemara is saying, so it's a simon about me, love is a simon, and people do step over food. Right? Now, if that's the case, if those are the givens, right, there's going to be three options here in the Machloikis. One, a simon that, whether a simon that comes by itself is a simon, whether stepping, whether people do step over bread, and then, the third option is it's is a, a simon that's going to be trampled or kicked around. Do we assume that that simon is going to be destroyed? Right. So basically, the Gemara for the rest of the Amud is just going to alternate between options of what the Machloik is. So again, so Sabru the Kuli Amas Simon Abam Eilav Havi Simon. The simon that comes by itself is a simon. Umavir and Allah Echlan people do step over bread. My love is simon also lidaris kamifli. And what are we talking about? We're talking about a simon that is eventually going to be be stepped on. That's the machleik. It's marsav avi simen. One holds it's not a simen. Marsav avi simen, and the other one holds it is a simen. So that's why you have a machleik. Is whether there's a piece of bread found on the floor or a loaf of bread found on the floor with money in it, there's a machleik. So Amar Rav Zvid Mishmei the Rava, Isak Adai to the Kasavar Tanakama Simen Otsu the Doris Leavi Simen. If you're gonna think that we go with the Tanakama, that a Simen Otsu the Doris is not a simen, or Mavir on Allah Eichlin, and people do step over bread, so Kikur Shabal Abayz is just Rama Mamai Machlis. So if that's the case, when you find a kikar, when you find the loaf of bread, 
what are you going to announce it for? Right? Meaning, why would you think that somebody's loaf of bread? Because, you know, everybody has their own uh, their own look on their bread. Right? So everybody has their own look on the bread. So that lachar is a simon. But what's the point? If you hold that, you're going to step, people are going to step over, it's going to ruin the simon. So then, so then uh, what are you announcing it for? So El Amar Avzvid, Mishmei Darava. So we can't say that that's a machlaikus. The Kulei Amar Savri, Simen Asi Lidar Savi Simen. Everybody holds that a simen that's going to be trampled is a simen. Umavirin ala Eichlin. And people, um, and people go over food. People walk over food. Right? Vacha Basimen, Abame Eilav Kamifuvi. Um, where it's a simon abame elav is what the machlaikis is. The Tanakama of a simon abame elav loyavi simon. A simon that came by itself is not a simon, right? Meaning, why not? Because the owner has to be aware of the simon. Otherwise, meaning the whole point of a simon is that the owner does not give up if his thing gets lost. But if he doesn't know the simon exists, so if that's the case, and then he's going to give it up. Rabbi Yehuda Savar, Habi Simon, Rabbi Yehuda, it is a simon. And so that's the machlokes. Rabba Amar Allah, Rabba is going to say no. The Kuliyama Simon also the Daris Leiva Simon. Everybody holds that a simon that's going to be trampled is not a simon. Vein Mavir Na Leich. I mean, you don't. People do not step on food. Okay, so what's the machlokes? Vachu be simon aba me elav kemifugi. The whole machlokes is a simon that comes by itself. Tanakam is over loyavi simon. Tanakam holds it's not a simon. Rabbi Yudah Savar Havi simon. Rabbi Yudah holds that it is a simon. Right. So basically. Again, you have these three machloiks in here, whether people step over food, whether a simon that comes by itself is a simon, and whether we say that a simon that gets trampled by people is considered a a simon, right? So, so meaning if it's still considered a simon. So basically, each shita is going to fit in the machloikis, meaning two of them are going to be no machloikis, and one is going to be a machloikis, right? And whichever way it fits, for your opinion, that's the way it's going to go. Okay, now we just have a different version of the same Gemara. Ika Damri, Zavru the Kuli Amos Simon Abame Elav Ami Simon. Everybody holds that a Simon that comes by itself is a Simon. The Simon also the Dara is Loyavi Simon, and a Simon that's going to be stepped on is not a Simon. My love, the Mavirin Al Eichel Kamifugi. Are we not talking about where whether people the whole Machlokes is whether people step on food? The Marsa of Mavirin one holds we do, Marsa of Emavirin one holds that we don't. All right, so that's the machlok. So Amar Rav Zvid, Mishmei Derav, Isak Daito, Savar Tanakama, Simon Hotzei Doros Lavi Simon. If you really think that the Tanakama holds that a simon that's going to be stepped on is not a simon, Umarin Ala Eichlin, and people are allowed to step over food, so Kikrus of Alabais, which is Sarama, my machres. Why would you ever be machres? Why would you ever announce that you found a loaf of bread in Rishul Sarava? Right? It, you're not going to have you're not going to have a simon because it's a simon that's going to be trampled on. It's not a simon. So then you can't possibly that that's the opinion of the Tanakama. Salam Rav Zvid Mishrei the Rava, the Kuli Hamasavri Simen also the Doros Havi Simen. Everybody holds that a Simen that's going to be stepped on is a Simen. Umavir and Allah Eichlin. And we're allowed to step over food. Ba'acha, the Simen Abame Eilav Kamifugi. We're talking about a Simen that comes by itself. The Tanakama Sava, Simen Abame Eilav, Loi Havi Simen. The Simen that comes by itself is not a Simen. The Yudha Sava, Havi Simen, he holds it is a Simen. The Rabba Amalach, he says, everybody holds it. Trampled on Simon is not a simon. And we don't. That we, you're not allowed to step over food. You're talking about a simon that comes by itself. Simon that comes by itself is not a simon. You the savar, happy simon. You hold it is a simon. Okay. I hope that was understandable. Again, it's three machloikes. You, you adjust the machloikes to whichever way it fits into the opinion. What's the maskana? Amar Azvir Mishmei Darava, Klala Davedasa. This is a rule of Aveda, of, of, of something lost. Kivan to Amar, when a person says, now this is Mamish, the description of when a person gives up on something that he lost. Kivan to Amar, Vaila Lechasaran Kis. What was it that I've lost money? Miyayish Lemine, that means he's Miyayish. Meaning once the guy says, oh, how they call it Yiddish, Fafalan. Right, they say it's fafalan. It fell. <laughs> I wonder if that's where it comes. Fafalan meaning it fell. It's done. You're done. That's it. That's me. Like what I'm saying with my story with the Megillah. Till I heard, if I would have heard from the lost and found that they didn't have it, then 
I would have been Miyaish. But until then, I well, wasn't Miyaish. I didn't say hi. Yeah, I said it last night in the daf. Maybe before you got on. Yeah, they found they had in the lost and found Baruch Hashem. Uh-huh. And I gave the wrong simon. I said it was a blue case. It was a black case. But they gave it to me anyway. A good thing they don't keep the halacha. <laughs> I mean, whatever. They sent the picture. They sent the picture of it, and I said, yeah, that's it. I mean, how many people are losing the gillas on a plane? For goodness' sake. But anyway, that wasn't a compliment to myself. Yeah. So it was it was Rachamim's Birchus Kainim and yours or whatever the island. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe there's two people who lost a, a Megillah and they I fell, hope and, not and because you, then I'm a Ghana. You, you got you got Yenims <laughs> and the other guy's looking for a blue a black uh, black and uh, silver case. <laughs> yeah, it was it was close what's, enough. What's it had all the designs. The truth is, it had all the designs that I remembered. What's the in, in Mitzvahim? I may have asked him when they do write the book. There's going to be a chapter on the things that you lost and found. I <laughs> know. I've lost many things and haven't found them. <laughs> a lot of but things anyway. you have that are crazy. The iPad, a lot of stories with planes uh, uh, that you did find. Yeah. Maybe I should become responsible. Either way, but that's a description of an Aveda. When a person says, Vaila le Chesarin kiss, he's Miyayish. Okay, so if Amr Azud Mishmed the Rabbah Hilchasa, the halacha is Krichas, another halacha, Krichas, and this is what we were talking about, that's how we got into the Gomach Loikas. Krichas, Prishus Arabim, bundles of of uh, grain that's found in Rishus Arabim, Arei Lushala, you could keep it. Rishus Ayachid, it's Rishus Ayachid, Idar Nefila, if it was found and it looks like it just fell, Arei Lushala, you could keep it. Idar Hanacha, if it was just the way it was placed, meaning it looks like somebody put it there on purpose, then you have to take it. Night, they'll take it to Machris and call out. Right? Now, there's a whole issue. Why should he take it? Meaning, we're gonna, we haven't got done this yet, but when you, and this comes up a lot, you see something laying on the, you can walk by somebody's house and you see his garbage can. So why don't you say, uh, let me take it and bring it back to him? Because he knows his garbage can is there. He put it there. He knows it's there. Don't take it. You're going to make him stressed out that, that his garbage can is missing. When you right? say so how do you the, know? He Derek in the field must be Rishu Sarabim. Correct. You take from Rishu Sarabim. I don't get that. And one. A, yeah. But that's true. That's true. Meaning if it's Derek, if it looks like it's Derek Hanacha, but let it just, yeah. Meaning it's a Rishu Sarabim. Why are you even touching it? That's what you're talking about, right? If it's Derek Hanacha, right. Rishu Sarabim. It could, could be he lost it in his yard. But Derech uh, Hanacha, meaning don't, it sounds like this from this Gemara, it says take it and announce it. Right? I mean, it doesn't mean it's necessarily his Rosh Hashayach. It says take it and announce it. Why not just leave it? If the guy placed it there, then he knows it's there. He's going to come back. So Rashi says, no, maybe the guy forgot it. Right? So these are very, very difficult Halacha Lomaisa things to figure out. When do you take it? Because if you don't take it, you have an Isidaraisa, which we'll get to in a couple of blocks. Right? Meaning if you leave a lost object, it's an Isidaraisa. Besides, and there's a mitzvah daraisa, you're losing out on giving it back. If you don't if you leave it, if you don't take if you take it, then you might mess the guy up totally. Right? Because he's expecting it to be there. So it's something that needs that requires, I don't even know what it requires. <laughs> You just, I don't know. You have to try and learn the halachas, but they're very, very unclear. If, if you I mean, take it, unclear good, for us. If you take it, good, because the guy's going to come back and he's going to be misyayish, and then, then you won't have to worry about returning it. True. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the Gershon's on. I <laughs> that. <laughs> Help. Well, okay. Well, we'll have to see. We'll we'll have to see how. Hopefully, we'll get to it. Um. Anyway, so that's so that's the halacha. But zev is zev. But davar shein by simon, and both of them, if they don't have a simon, I mean, if they don't have a simon, avo but davar sheyesh by simon. But if it has a simon, loish no b'shus arabim, loish no b'shus ayachid, doesn't make a difference. If it's just around, just a yachid, bein derek nafila, bein derek hanocha. Whether it looked like it fell, whether somebody put it there, chayiv lahachas, you required to be machus, right? So we say, um, 
and he doesn't say anything about whether it gets trampled or not. So therefore, since he doesn't say whether it gets trampled or not, therefore, it's you know, we're at least the Gemara's paskening that we don't care. If the guy had a simon, then he had a simon. Okay, Antam Bebez now. That's the bottom Rashi. What? It's Rav Lutame. It's Rav Lutame, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, Antam Bebez now. Machroiza Shodogim. So we said Machroiza Shodogim is like basically they used to hang the fish on uh, on uh, strings. So if you find the Machroiza Shodogim, so. Um, they, that goes to the guy who found it. And Tyson says it doesn't only mean fish; it means it means fish too. That means meat also. So am I? So going to ask am I? Lavi Kesher Stimin? Why is it not? That you tie a knot. Not. We're going to see later on. They make like the salamis. <laughs> yeah. Um. He's still busy thinking about his sourdough from the previous Gemara of the dough, finally finding oh, the dough. Very good. Um, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so the Gemara is, Gemara is going to have a, a shaila later on whether a knot is considered a simon, meaning the way you tie a knot. Is that considered something like it's exclusive to you? So the Gemara is saying, why are you saying that fish hanging on a string is not a simon or meat hanging on a string is not a simon? The way you knotted it should be a simon, right? Am I lavi kesher simon? So my answer is Bikitra the Tsayada, it's a regular standard uh knot from the trap. The trappers use a standard knot, so there's no similar to that. The Kuliyama Hoki Mikat um everybody buys it that way, so it's no simon. Okay, but I'll be minion simon. But there must there must be that there's a minion of how many fish, right? The guy can say, Oh, how many why not? He said, You found this thing of fish, there's no simon. He says, I'm telling you, there's five fish hanging on it. And let's say there's five fish hanging on there, so why can't why can't you give it back to the guy? Right? So say, but at the shove, no, it was a standard like like a dozen eggs. It's like telling a guy, oh, you found the eggs, yeah, it's a dozen eggs. Was it a dozen eggs? See, it's a simon. <laughs> That's not a simon, right? Or a six pack of beer. We'll say I would say coke, but beer, right? Six pack. Like, oh, how many you found beers? Okay, six in there. That's not a simon, right? Fine. So that's why minion doesn't work. And the knot doesn't work. So bar minim and rosh minion havi simen or loy havi simen. Stam in a regular case, if somebody says the amount of things that were there, is it a simen or not? So Amar, you you want you learning yourself? Or are you joining me? Top of uh, top of base, huh? So Amar learn rosh sheishes. Rosh sheishes said them. Can you see what we learned? What's a kli kesef or kli nechayshes? If you find silver kalim or or copper kalim, gistron, shall aver, broken pieces of lead, v'cholkli, matchas, any type of metal, hareza lo yachser, achitin ois, ayachi chava mishkaloisa. You don't give it back until he gives a sign, meaning he puts a, says a sign what the money looked like, what the metal looked like, or until he could tell you the weight. Again, I don't understand this Gemara, but that's no Chiddush. Eretz Yisrael, the Avir, has not helped me understand the Gemara. <laughs> Just in case, anybody, I must have, a, I must need a real, a real dosage of of Avir there to Israel. Hopefully they'll settle in at some point. But anyway, it's saying until he's machaven how much how 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 much it weighs. Meaning, let's say you find some scrap metal on the street, the guy says, I'm telling you it's my metal, it weighs three point two pounds. So it's saying that's a that's a simon. And then the Gemara says the part I don't understand with the Mishkal have his simon, if weight is a simon, mido minion nanami have simon, then for sure the measurement of it, meaning let's say it's two inches by two inches, or a or a or a uh, um, or the amount of metal that was there is a simon. I don't know why it's a kol shikane. To me, if you know the weight of your metal, that sounds like a pretty good identifying thing. Better than better than uh um the measurements and uh and the amount, I would think. But the Gemara obviously is thinking the other way around, right? That if mishkal Works if that's a simon, then the other two for sure work. I don't know. Okay, fine. And if you find pieces of meat, right? So that also goes to the guy who finds it. He doesn't have to announce it. You find meat on the street, he doesn't have to announce it. Oh, uh, what about Bosish and the Solomon Ayin? Right? How do you have how do you have it from the street? So we'll get to that. So I'm adding more as I love you, Mishkala Simon. Why about why wouldn't the weight of the meat be a simon? No parrots, parrots. If a guy knows the weight of his meat, it's gotta be that that it's his piece. 
Now, who knows the exact weight? You know the exact weights of your meat? Not only that, parents can tell you if the top bone is a little trimmed a little bit too much. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get to that in a minute. <laughs> but yeah. I know, but who knows the weight of their meat? I mean, I understand meat gets sold by weight, but who knows how much? I mean, I guess Jacob, if, I'll if tell you're a big meat man, then you know. Are, Jacob, I'll tell you who knows. The ladies who are tracking the different pricing between bingo and cold save will know exactly the weight <laughs> of their meat. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is true. Even then, it's huh. not exact. You go into a store and you buy a pound of cold cuts. It's never exact, but if you lose it and you say, oh, I lost a pound of cold cuts, that's what you'll get. You'll get it back. That's called the simon. You don't need to say one pound, 1 1.3479 ounces. That's not Nagaya. You say a pound. Got to be a little different nowadays than it was those days. Nowadays, you have stickers on it. It's got the exact weight because they're charging you by the weight. Right. Also, how, back how, then, nothing was uniform. It wasn't like, you, you know, you walk into Lowe's and you, you get a piece of wire. You know exactly how much the metal weighs because it's all made exactly the same. The, then they used actual weights to measure it. So everyone was exactly the same. That's why Michigan. No, I understand, the but they're not down. writing it down like on a sticker. Or like, let's say you have a gold coin. It's not going to be exactly the same. It's minted differently. But each one weighs exactly yeah. the same. They have to weigh each one. Each one is weighed on a scale back then. If I care, today it could be slightly different because we don't care. We'll just mark. Okay, this is uh, 0.987 pounds. This is 1.003 pounds. We can be more exact, but it's still a pound. Then it was all pound, 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 pound. But I hear me. Okay, I hear both. I hear both. Southern, which way it would be? Yeah. That's the thing, anyway, so. so I think that's what Tyson Smith is doing. Yeah. Right. Well. Uh, No, he says, stop asking your classroom something else. Places. Okay, whatever. Let's let's go back to you. Yeah? So, Simon, the shoving. We say it's talking about it was a standard weight. See, a salami or a hot dog is a standard weight. So, there's no simon. Right? It's a heavy chaticha group of simon. So, why don't you let the piece itself be a simon? Oy, the dafka, oy, the what? Of parents of Chavali, the see, Yaakov, what driving. shear is this? Yeah. This is the daf shear. We said we're doing this? the daf at eight thirty. Oh, Rebarin, are you from Eretz Yisrael? I got. Are oh, you doing the Yaakov, daf? That's who's yes. live with you. I thought it was Liner. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not Liner. I'm not Ooh, liner. You, all right, Please. you insulted Rebarin. Look how quick you jumped on that. That that's not Liner. <laughs> hey, Chav yeah, yeah. Gimel Amid Base. Aaron Chav Gimel Amid Base. Uh, After the two dots. Anyway. What? Can't hear him. Okay, anyway. Rafi Sackville so, lives in Yerushalayim. Does he? I had, I have to have to, yeah. Anyways. Um, uh, so the Gemara is yeah, he does. Jesus That's cool. why I told you he does. <laughs> I know you, you, your internet keeps going out, so he can't, can't, he can't hear everything you're saying. I'm or sorry. Or it's my internet. Or it's my internet. I don't know. Sorry. I actually had my my phone out. Where are you up? Where are you and then it got distracted. Chav Gimel a little after the first two dots. The Chaticha Shabasa. Anyways, so Gamora says the second, they have the second, that's the second, the third two dots. <laughs> yeah. That's the second two. Well, the first one doesn't count as the top line. Ten lines down, bottom line. Not a bottom line. Okay, the rock was here. I can't say bottom line, it's ten lines. Okay, ten lines down. <laughs> okay. So again, back there with the Hatito Shabasa. Yeah. Um Am I uh, uh, am I loving Let the let the weight be a simon. Mishkol the shaman talking about a mishkol that's 
set set amount. Fatahavi Fatahavi Khitikha's goof a simon. Why not the piece itself be a simon? Oid the dafka, oid the atma, either the neck or the thigh. See parrots if you were uh he's not um parrots if you weren't driving, if you gotta look at this Rashi, it's called flanking. Rashi says flanking. Look at this, the third thin line the third thin line down. Rashi says a dafka um is flunking. Yeah. So anyways, so it's flunking is a simon. I'll allow a one-time exception that we do Rashi. <laughs> one second. Yaakov, one second. This, is not, this doesn't say if it's a boneless flunking or a regular flunking. That's true. That's true. But Because I iron, after you cook a flunking well, the bone should pop right out. Oh, you're saying good, Paris. You're saying good. And I have no idea what you're talking about. So, but the point is, for me, it would not be a sim, and I don't know a flunking from a, uh, I don't know from what. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so the Gemara is saying, why shouldn't the piece Jack, be a sim? Growing up, our mothers never bought flunking. It was the most expensive meat. That's why. Wasn't, go- wasn't going down that road. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, me like Tanya, did we not learn the price of matzah chatichas dogim? If somebody found pieces of fish, the dog noshuch, or a, piece, a fish that's bit, chayim lahachris is chayim to, to call it out. But barrels of wine, oil, grain, dried figs, olives, harayil, shalei, that he could keep. Because you, there's no simon on it. So you see that there is a simon for pieces of fish. So why can't this, why can't what the piece look like be a simon? It's talking about where there was a simon where it was cut. Which Rashi says means it was cut in a weird way. There's two Purim Torahs on this Gemara. Like this Mamish. One is Mamish, but we're going to save that for tomorrow night, Bez Hashem. There's Mamish, you can't make it up. This this is what's coming on the bottom of the Almond. Yes, yes. Yeah, Gershon knows what I'm talking about. Somebody reminded me of it today. Either way, but it says here it's a triangle. Hence the Rashi shows a triangle. Two Rashis are doing parrots. When there's a, a triangle in a Rashi, we got to do it. All right, so. Because Haman's hat was a triangle, right? I was saying, so he used to cut his meat in a, in a triangle. And he did it for Kasha's purposes so that his wife should know, not that he or his wife, whatever it is, should know that, I mean, she did it. To know that he recognizes his meat and that nobody else messed with his meat. If it was a normal day, we can, we can hack about Simonim on meat, but it's not a normal day. So we go yeah, back. You know what I'm like? with Shayasha, right, in the dinner. Yes, what with the simon with Tati? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, we'll do it in another time. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so I'll just say it quick. My the, my my father was mashkiach of the the dinner in Shayashu in the sands, and uh, Rachma, you were probably there, and uh, and the and you weren't there, but uh, okay. And the uh, I I was I was there for all of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the guy came with the with the, the whole truck full of meat, and my father asked him. If if I wasn't here with the key, who would have the key? He says, "Well, I mean, I have my key right here in my pocket." So basically, they made him throw out most of the meat, but a few pieces. I think he said, "I don't know, Rachman, correct me if I'm wrong." A few pieces that you were able to tell were cut only by Jewish butchers that they that they were allowed to keep. I think that part. I, I as far yeah, as yeah, it was with Benji. Said. Benji was the butcher when he had the butcher shop. They called him. He he he, he said which pieces they can keep. No, I don't right. remember. I don't remember the mice. Okay, it must have been. Maybe it was after I left over there or something. Well, one, one second. No. One, one second. We learned from you that the whole bus from Zamanayan has nothing to do with a guy switching. It has to do with a bird. It wasn't outside. No, but that's, this is not Bashar Shana Salman. It's a two different inyanim. This is Kashrus. That's what I'm, that's exactly my point. Bashar Shana Salman yeah. is, is a different issue that a bird may take. It's a bird. It. This is right. that a guy has it, that a guy has it. But if it was right. packaged and the packages on the, on the thing were sealed, that would no, be good. That's not a simon, a truck. No, that's a simon. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, well, so usually when you buy like, 500 pounds of meat, not each piece is in a wrapped, packaged, simon thing. That, well, that's why you have it. Right. 
that's why we have the packaging and all, all the, the seals and all that. Right. Anyway, so that's uh, he had a special uh, piece of meat. Uh, fine. They could not, I mean, that's a deek. The katani do me the dog. It's similar to a fish. The dog nosho, that it's similar to a fish that got that got bit. Meaning, if a fish has a certain bite on it, then that would act as a simile. Fine. Omar ma, chavi yisrael yaim yisrael shemim shofua to grogus yisrael desim. So we said all these things have no simon. But Rei yisrael he gets to keep it. Ova tna and kade yaim and kade shemim chayv lahachus. We said that jugs of yaim and jugs of shemim you can you you call them out. You see that you do that you do with wine and and oil. Meaning you can't keep it. Omar abzera omar amas nisim barashum. The Mishnah is talking about where is Rashum. Rashum literally translated means there's a, a marking on it. What it means, Rashi says, it means is that it was opened up and it was reclosed. So Mamele, he was able to tell you, you know, hey, was it open? Right? And he said, was it open and reclosed? So then that's a simon. Mechlal, the mechlal, the price of a pasuach. It sounds like, uh, it sounds like um, it's open. Right, But if a guy leaves a jug of oil or a jug of wine in, in the public property with an unopened jug, he clearly, that's called Aved Midas, meaning he clearly gave up on ever having this. Who in the right mind is going to leave an open jug of wine in the street and then and then reclaim it? Right? So then that can't be the case. So Amar Rav HaShia B'Matzit. So Rav says it's talking about where he covered it, but he didn't seal it. Meaning he covered it so animals won't get into it, but he didn't reseal it. So um, that's not, it's not going to be, it's not going to be considered Aved Midas, right? But it's going to be considered that it doesn't have a simon and he gets to keep it. Abay Omar, Afilu Teme, Idi, Idi, Barashim. They can both be talking about where the guy <laughs> put another seal on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Excuse me, what's called Rishus Arabim? Let's say he goes to a Geratish, there's 10,000 people there. Is that Rishus Arabim? I mean, even though it's in Rishus Ayachid? Yeah, yeah. I think that would be considered Rishus Arabim. I think, but I, I don't, okay. I don't, uh, I, but I, I'm not sure. Nobody's going to be afraid. Nobody's going to be afraid to touch the bottle. That's what that's, I'm saying you're in a place. You're in 770 by the Hanukkah for bringing, let's say, whatever it is. Right. So then the question is, is does that does that make it into a, uh, does that make it into where the guy placed it there on purpose? That I don't know. That's the hard part. That's yeah. the hard part to figure out. When, when did the guy put it down and when did he got up? I mean, you walk into Shul, you see a hat, right? You don't take it because oh, maybe the guy lost it, yeah. <laughs> right? That's the good old, uh, we, we didn't even discuss that yet. The good old, somebody switched his coat for my coat trick. Right? <laughs> so, how do you, right? <laughs> yeah, so how do you know what to do with that? Is there, it's just a, yo, it's just a ramen, simon, no simon. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, Aaron, okay, so the Prius, the, the, the Maybach belongs to Wolfson. Don't take it, okay? <laughs> um. Robert, I have a good miser with that with Moshe Wolfson. I make fun of him all the time that he drives it himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what could you do? They don't make billionaires like they used to. What could you do? No, and it eats him up every time I say it to him. It's so gewaldic. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> um... Okay, anyway, so to Gemara, so Abaya says, I feel with him, they're both talking about where the guy resealed it. But like Kasha can kind of shift the Huaitzus, kind of Akashin into the One is talking about before the Aitzus, the warehouses opened up, meaning it's before before it became in season, as they say. So, Mamela, it's before it was in season, or I don't know how it works with schnapps or, or wine. Before the, what do you call it? When they. When they when the wines are ready, the vintage, is that it? The harvest, the vintage. Really. I'm totally out of my league here with the meats and the wines and the. <laughs> All right, so whenever it, whenever even before it's the vintage, nobody expects the barrels to be open. Why would you open it? It's not ready. It's the one that's coming out after the oitzus. Right, 
So meaning, if it's before the Aitzus, so nobody is expecting a barrel to be open. So if this, this guy says, oh, that barrel you found is, either he says it or we're assuming he's going to think it is, that that barrel that he lost, he has a simon on it because nobody's finding resealed barrels. Right? But if it's once the vintage is and, and, and everything's out, like Purim time, to find an open bottle of wine on the street, there's no that's going to be no simon. He found a bottle, a barrel of wine after the ice is already opened up. Also, came in front of a Go take it for yourself. You could keep it because once it's after the vintage or whatever, whenever the barrels are out, so then it's no simon that the barrel was opened and reclosed. Fine. How about the place? The place where it was lost, is that a simon or not a simon? Uh, meaning the guy goes over and says, Oh, you found money? Or he announces, I, I found I found money. He says, Did you find it on the corner of Beach Ninth and Cornelia? And he says, Yeah. Oh, is that a simon or not? So I'm related to Nisur. You find any of those are Elif Shalai. There is. And if you think that the place is a simon, so then why wouldn't you call out where, where you found it? Right? Meaning, what would you mean? How, if you say where it was found, so then of course the guy's going to say, oh, yeah, 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 I lost it over there. No, it means, it means that you say, I found something on the corner of such and such, and the guy says, oh, did you? was it a barrel of wine? So if the guy says that, then it's a good thing. I mean, you can't give out all the information. It sounds like from the Gemara. You're giving out all the information. That's not what you're doing. You're just announcing that I found something on the corner. Right? And if you found something on the corner, and then the guy tells you what it is that you found, so then that would be a simon. So LMI must be that it's not a simon because the Gemara didn't give that option. It's talking about where you found it on the edge of the river, meaning by the loading docks of the river. So there's no chiddush there, that meaning normally makam would be a simon, but here we're talking about where you found it on the loading docks, and Mamela, since you found it there, the guy thinks forget it, right? Because uh, nobody's going to know it's his, because that there's you're always finding barrels over there. Amar Amari, my time. Amar Rabban and Raksas and Hara Loyavi Simon. Why they say that if you find something on the on the edge of the river, it's not a simon? Damrina Lake, he hated this Rami Lididoch, this Rami Nami Lukavro, because we say he's going to say. I mean, well, I'm sorry, we're going to tell him you're trying to say a simon that you found the barrel, that we found the barrel on the, on the, on the edge of the water. So the same way you left yours there, Islam and Rami Chavra, your friend also left one there. We, but how do you know that it's yours? So we can't give it back to you. So according to this pshat, if, if the guy says it was found on the riverbank, we don't give it back to him because that's too common. But then there's another pshat. Igidamri, Omar Amari, my time, Omar Ravana, Makam Le'avi Simen. Why did Rabbanon say that the makam is not a simon? The Amrina Lake, he had the Sram al Nidach, Hai Makam, Isrami Nam al Khavra, Hai Makam. Because we're going to say the same way your friend, if that you, I'm sorry, you left it in this place, Isrami Nam al Khavra, Hai Makam. So it happened to your friend, this place also. So now this Iker da Amri sounds very similar to the first one, except it added, it added two words. It added the words Hai Makam. So according to this, the second pshat, the way Rashi explains it, according to the first pshat, even if he says a specific place on the edge of the river where it was found, no good. According to the second pshat, I'm sorry, according to the first pshat, if he said hi makam, then he would be believed because he gave a specific area on the edge of the river. This shita says, the second shita says, the second shita says that it's that if, even if he says a specific place, then it's not, uh, he's not, he's not believed. Fine. Ahu Gavra, the Ashkach Kufra. It was the person who found um, his tar or pitch that had no simon. And he found it by a wine press. I guess it's like it was a jug of tar. I guess that's what I'm assuming it is. Also, the Kameh Darav. Um, I guess they keep these by wine presses also because they, they don't want the wine to leak out. So also the Kameh Darav. He came in front of Rav. Amalei, Zil, Shkol, and Ashkach. You can keep it for yourself. So Chazi Dava Kamechasim, right? Which is the worst thing to do to a rabbi. He saw him, that he was being Mechasim. Rashi says from the word like Sachsa, not to muzzle. Meaning he wasn't very happy with the rabbi's psak. He went to ask the rabbi, he found this, this jar of, of tar, 
by the wine press. The rabbi told him he could keep it. And he starts looking like, are you sure? So Amale, so he said to him, Rav said to him, Zil plug You know what? Go give some of it to Chia, my son. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. You're doubting thing I'm being maker for you and I wouldn't be maker myself. Give it to Chia to my son. I don't know why he didn't say just give it to me. Right? So sometimes when people are doubting a an answer I give in Kashus, I tell them, like, you know what? You don't believe me, so bring me the food and I'll eat it. Right? So that's that, that's essentially what what happened over here. So okay, so what do we what's what does the Gemara want with this lame book of Rabbakim to have a simon? Why are we going to say according to this that a makam is not a simon because it was found by a wine press? Why don't he's saying that the guy who found it could keep it? May, why maybe announce it, and the guy will say, "Did you find the thing of the pitch?" He says, "Yeah, where do you?" And he said, "You found it by the wine press." Yes, that's where I lost it. Right? How come Rob didn't have that option? He just told the guy to keep it. So it must be that Makam is not a simon. Um, he was, he was, literally means he was touching it because of Yish Bailam. Why? Meaning the Bailam, he was saying that the Bailam were Meyayish. The Chazla, the Katsipe, Alfi, because he saw that there were reeds growing from the pitch. If there were already reeds growing from it, then it was sitting there for so long, then it's clearly that uh, there has to be that the Baal was Miyayish. Even though there is some form of simon to it, but it has to be that the Baal, that the Baal was, was Miyayish. Okay, we'll stop over here. I appreciate the Ilam tuning in so early. And uh, the Ilam should have a good Shabbat.